Perfect. Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crop an image using GIMP. So the first thing I'll do is open up my web browser. Let's go to an example where we can work from. So let's go to my blog and I'm going to click on this first blog post. And I've got this image here and I need to know the width and the height of this image. And I want to replace this image or add another one right below it. So the idea of this tutorial is to show you how to take an image crop it to an exact specific size right that's what i'm trying to demonstrate so if i take this particular image and drag and drop it to my desktop i can now use it as reference so if i minimize this let's just drag this image into this folder and open up this folder and then we can click on the image hover over it or right click and go to its properties and we can go into the details here in the properties tab so we'll go to details and it tells me it's 750 by 260. so let's make another image of that size and we'll, we will um, add that to my website blog post so let's go to the internet and let's go to unsplash and in here I'm just going to type in something let's just type in computers right and this image might work quite well because it's quite narrow you can see like it's a laptop being open so let's click on that picture and we'll click on download and I'll put a link to this exact same image that I'm using in the YouTube description so that you guys can follow this tutorial and I'll drag and drop that image I've just downloaded into this folder. You can see it's much more of a square, it's got much more black space at the top and the bottom. And we want to crop this image across the top and across the bottom using GIMP and make it exactly the same size in width and dimension as this image. So let's open up GIMP. And the first thing I want to do is know what the original file size was, right? The width and the height. Let's go to its properties and go to details and it's 750 by 260 at 72 dpi. 750 by 260. So let's go to file new and I'm going to type in 750 by 260. And in here in the advanced options, I'm going to set it to 72 dpi, not 300. 300 dpi is good for print. 72 dpi is good for web stuff like print or put on websites, right? And the fill type, I'm going to set it to transparency here for now and then click OK. So now basically I've got a blank canvas exactly the same size as this picture here that was on my website that we're using as a reference. So now we've got this image and we want to, re we want to basically crop the image, right? And crop it across here. There's a few ways to do this in GIMP. Um, I'm going to show you one example today and maybe I'll show you another example later as well in another tutorial. But this way seems to make more logic when you know the exact width and the height that you want to work with. So I create this blank canvas and all I'm going to do is drag that picture into the layers here and just click convert. So I've got that new image in the layers here and you can see that it's way too big, right? You just can't, you can, this yellow box represents the actual size of the image. Here you can see it. So what I'll do is I'll click on the scale tool here, scale, this one right here, and then I'll click on the picture. And now I can't see the background. I can't see the original size of the canvas. So what I need to do is reduce the opacity here. So I'm going to bring the opacity down so that I can see these little dotted squares in the background. That's the actual size that I'm targeting for the image. So all I'll do is hold down the control key and left click in this top hand section here, left mouse click and drag inwards. And as I'm dragging inwards, I'm resizing this image, right? Let's see, not, you don't hold down the control key, actually. You can hold down the control key and hold down the shift key at the same time. So hold down the control key and the shift key. And then you can let go of your left mouse button and let go of the, hot, the control and shift key. And then we can zoom in and pan around here. And we can see roughly where the laptop is now in the image. And let's increase the opacity a bit. Now we can see we've got a little gap on the side here, a little one on here, a gap at the top and a gap at the bottom. But I want to resize it slightly more. So I'm going to hold down the shift and control key together. Hold down shift and control. That will make sure the image stays centered and also constraint as well. So as I resize it, it's all going to resize uniformly, right? Without distorting. So I'm going to let go of the left mouse button here, let go of the shift and control key. And I like the space on the left and the right hand side. I want everything to be quite even here. And then I'm going to click scale here once I'm happy with it. So I'll click scale. And then I'm just going to turn the opacity all the way back up to the top to 100%. Now you can see what the cropped image looks like. We've cropped it from the left and the right. We've got a lot of the black spacing in the, from the bottom and the top. And we see the laptop in the middle like this. Something like this is a good example. I'm going to go to file export as. And when I go to file export as, I'm going to click on the extensions here. I'm going to go to my desktop and go to that folder where I've saved the other file. 
and I'm going to set it to JPEG and I'm going to click, uh, let's give it a name, let's just call it, uh, let's call it sample-crop-01. I'm just going to give it a file name and click export for JPEG file, export it and I'm going to set the compression down to around 70, around 77 should be good. You retain image quality but you reduce the file size as well. So we'll click export and we can minimize GIMP. And inside the folder, we've got these two pictures now that are of similar size, these two. And this is the new one. You can see the quality is still there. So it should be fine in terms of the visuals. So let's add that to one of my blog posts. So I'm going to close this down and I'm going to go to here. Let's just uh, open this up and we'll just add this to that same blog post and see what it looks like. Let's go into my admin control panel and inside here, I'll go to my blog post. Let's go to my blog post here and we want to find that same blog post so that will be let's see this one right here no it's not this one where is it um yeah this one here i'm going to edit it and then i'm going to look at that picture right in fact i won't delete this one so you can see this same picture here i'm not going to delete it i'm going to add one right below it so i'll hit the enter key and i'll go to the image upload i'm going to browse and we'll go into this folder here and I'm going to find that same image, this one right here. I'll select it, upload it, and then I'll find that image in here, which is this one. And I'll select it. I'll change the width and height to make it responsive. I'll delete those. And I'll just click OK for now as a temporary example. Now we can see the two images side by side. Let me just check. This one's fine. Let's go down and save this. Now if I go back to my website and refresh it, we can see the image is exactly the right size. So it's worth knowing what size you want first before you go and crop and resize an image. And here you can see the cropped resized version. And here on my desktop here, you can see the original one with a lot more black space above and below. This is a nice, easy way to do this. And if I resize this, we'll see that these two images should resize for mobile devices. They'll just resize clean like this. That's what we want. So that's a basic example of how to resize and crop an image using GIMP when you know what the target uh, file size is going to be, what the resolution is going to be. In later tutorials, in some other tutorials, I'll show you how to crop and resize an image when you're not too sure what the width and height is going to be. But in most cases, when you're working on the web, you should really know what the width is going to be, at least. At the minimum, you should know the width. The height, you can fluctuate a lot in design, but the width, you're always working to a specific width, right, on a, on a web project. So when I go to one of my other blog posts, Let's go to something like, um, let's have a look at, for example, uh, let's find something for you to see. Uh, best tips ever to learn. So let's look at this one. This one, the, the width of this image will be exactly the same width as what we've just done. So it should be 750, right? So we'll check that. We'll drag and drop that picture into this folder. And I know that this original one was 750 wide, but the height will fluctuate. So this one here, if we right click and look at its properties, I can already tell you now that it's going to be 750 wide, but it's just a taller image. So when we work on web and when we're cropping images and resizing them, we always work to a certain width, but the height can fluctuate, right? So it's really the height that will fluctuate and the width will always be consistent when we're working on a website projects so on, on specific sizes. That way we can always determine the width. It's always going to fit nicely on the content right to the edge. And then when we resize, it will just resize correctly and not sort of distort and just, you know, go strange. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. That's how to go about cropping and resizing an image um, using GIMP. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.